Hello friends, welcome to AngularJS tutorial chapter number 6. Today we are going to discuss ng-switch. It's a directive of AngularJS. And it's very similar to the switch we are using in Java. So if you are a Java developer, you are very much familiar with the switch. So in Java, we have the switch with case and the default thing. So if case, some value, if you put and it matches, then it executes that corresponding line. And if it not matches any of case, it will go to the default. So same here. We'll see the definition first and then we'll go to the example. ng-switch directive lets you add, remove HTML element depending on an expression. We'll see this in our example. So in ng-switch, we have ng-switch when. Similar to the case we have in Java. So in Java, you have seen something we write case and if it matches the case, it executes the corresponding line. If it not matches any of the value entered, then it goes to the default. Similarly, in ng switch, we have ng switch default. So if matches anything you entered, it will execute the corresponding line. Otherwise, it will go to the default. We have a simple example here. So we are in the controller, my controller, and ng switch insert value. So suppose you have a text box. You entered some value and if that entered value matches with A, it will execute this line. If it matches with B, it will execute this. If it not matches any of this, it will go to the default. So we have ng switch default and it will execute this line. So let's try this example. We'll create one web page where we were having select box. So there we'll select table list or none. If we select table, so, so we'll provide the list of record. In that record, we'll see in the table format, the view, and in the list format. And if we select none, it will not execute anything. So in case you select list, it will give record like this in the list format. If you select table, it will give in this table format. So let's flip to the Eclipse and we'll see how it works. So in Eclipse, I have index.html and angulardemo.js file. So I have defined my controller demo control and same in the index.html I have defined ng controller that is demo control. I am going to use the same project which we created in our last tutorial. So in this tutorial we will create two scope variables. So we will create a select box where you will give the format you want to view like list and table and we will create a variable of some records. So let's start with that. To save some time I already created this. I'll just copy paste this. I'll tell what exactly is this. So I have created a scope variable with table list none and a records with all the employee details. I'll save this and I'll go to my index.html file. So first we'll create a select box where we'll having the option of selection. So we'll create choose your view. Here we'll create the select box. And the value will get stored in ng model. So I'll put it my where value. Inside this, I'll use ng repeat. I hope you remember what we have discussed in our last tutorial. ng repeat. With the option we have to create. And then x in my where. And we'll close this. And to display, we'll use x dot value. Why x dot value? You can see in the angular.js, I've created like this. So value for this record, my where. So whatever result will come, whatever you'll select, it will get stored in my where value. Okay, this is ready. We'll execute this first and we'll see what is there now. So it 
this list so table list and none as I have created in my my var variable we'll copy this URL we'll try to run on Chrome okay so this is ready now selection is ready now we'll go for the switch we'll create this HR just for a simple line and then we'll create div switch equal to on which my where value so just if you copy paste that will be better the less chances of doing mistake so our ng switch is ready now inside this we'll create div ng switch when equal to when it will list list So this should match this is in capital we'll use capital only L list and then here we'll create new ng repeat R in records R dot name and we'll put one bracket inside this we'll create R dot code similarly we will create for other one div ng switch when equal to when equal to this table we'll put header table format here also we'll put one header list format okay we'll do control a control i just to make the alignment in proper order and inside this we'll create a table with border suppose you take one we'll close this inside this table we'll define tr table row then we'll use ng repeat it should be inside this ng repeat equal to r in records and then we'll close this tr and then we'll have this statement tr for close the row and inside that we'll create td table data and table data will be first our r dot name and the second will be code We'll do control A, control I, and then we'll go to the other switch that is this is still here. We'll create div 
and j which when equal to none and we'll write here header none we are not doing anything just will create Now we'll create the default one. So if none of this matches, then we'll go div. And here we'll write ng switch default. And in default case, I just want to give the definition of the switch. So switch is used to switch the content of the records. Okay. Hope this is done. We'll save this and we'll execute this. Okay, this should be the end. after this we'll see table is not switching okay we need to put option here this div is fine this is fine if you open any div you have to be close it otherwise AngularJS will not work. We'll put this option here. We'll save this. We'll refresh our page. You can see it is changed to the table format. We'll select list. Change to the list format. If we select none, so it is printing sorry. So if we refresh it again, so that is going to the default one and it is printing this switch only. So hope it is clear now. It's very similar to Java. You can easily understand how it works. So we'll go to the code once again. This is my Java. This is pure HTML code where I used AngularJS directives. So once again, ng controller I have defined that is matching with the controller I have defined in the JS file. And then first I have created a select box where I have taken my where as a value and I am selecting that value. On based of the selection, it is matching. If it is list, it will display these things. If it is a table, it will go here. And if it is none, it is printing these things. And if none of this, in the next session, we'll see ng so ng height. Till that, bye bye. See you in the next video session. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.